All right, uh, let's look at the homework two, problem number eight. All right, uh, let's simplify this uh, expression here. All right, so first thing we do is uh, I'm going to try to find the common denominator for the numerator here. All right, so this is going to be equal to, all right, I'll take care of the D later. All right, so in order to find it, so three is in common. All right, so three is definitely there. So I'll just take care of the three, All right? Then we would have to have a quantity y plus d. So I'm going to have to put uh, y plus d. And also, I already took care of three, and we have to take care of y. So we have to put have y here, All right? So in order to get to the uh, common denominator, what's missing is y. So we have to multiply the numerator by y. All right, so there's a negative sign. All right, so in order to get to the, the common denominator, what's missing is quantity y plus d. So we multiply 1 by y plus d. So we have that. All right, then it looks like uh, we have uh, d, uh, y minus y. So you can scratch those out because they cancel each other out. All right, then also you have negative d here. You are dividing by d. So you can cancel uh, D here and D here, which is you're going to have one left over, right? D divide by D is one, right? So what you get is, uh, let's see, uh, you still have a negative one on top divided by uh, three times quantity Y plus D times Y, All right? So uh, let's type it in, All right? So we got... Um, negative 1 over 3 times uh, y plus d and times y. All right? So let's check the answer. All right? We got that. All right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.